Who doesn't love a good cookie recipe? This might be my most favorite cookie recipe in the entire world. It actually comes from my grandmother and I don't really remember making these cookies with her specifically. She passed away when I was nine, but we made these every single year around the holidays with my mom and I'm sure they'll become a fast family favorite for you too. I'm Kelsey from roughandtumblefarmhouse.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make chocolate waffle cookies with a chocolate ganache frosting. To begin, you're gonna put 12 ounces of chocolate chips in a bowl, so that's usually one bag of chocolate chips plus a little bit. On top of that, you're gonna pour one and a half cups of nice hot cream, so you want it to be warmed on the stove till it's just bubbling, and stir it into your chocolate chips. Then just let it sit for just a couple of minutes so the chips get nice and melty. It should look something like this. Then go ahead and add in about a teaspoon of vanilla, just a little splash. And then you're going to take a whisk and thoroughly whisk it all together. And it takes a little while for it to come together, but in no time you're going to have a nice, really smooth, almost pudding-like consistency. Once it's all together, you're going to put it in the fridge for one to two hours. And then this is the consistency you're looking for when it's complete. should be a nice, smooth, spreadable frosting. Begin by combining one cup of butter, so that's two sticks with one and a half cups of sugar. You're gonna cream that together so you wanna make sure that your butter is room temperature. And then you're gonna add in four eggs, stir that together well, and add in two teaspoons of vanilla and whisk that together till it is all combined. And then you're gonna do your dry ingredients. So for that you want two cups of flour, just a little pinch of salt, and then to that you're gonna add a half a cup of cocoa. And stir that all together. I just use a fork. Try and keep your toddler from taking the bowl from you. <laughs> Finally finish combining the ingredients and then mix the dry into the wet. And this is what it should look like. Kind of an odd looking cookie dough, but it makes a really great fudgy waffle cookie. You're gonna wanna have your waffle iron preheated and you wanna grease it. I don't have spray, cooking spray, so I just kinda use this maneuver. And then put about one spoonful on each section. You can make these cookies as big as you want to. I tend to like them to be about two to three bites or one bite if you're my husband. And just plop them here on the waffle iron. And we have an old school waffle iron, and so I did flip that manually in between and when they are done, these ones need to cook a little bit longer on the bottom, but when they come off, they'll actually be a little bit soft still. But when you set them on the rack to cool, then they actually will crisp up really nicely on the wire rack. Then just take your wonderful ganache frosting you made and slather it all over your cookies. And now these cookies are really best eaten fresh. They stay nice and crispy. If you don't eat them all in one sitting, which I, I mean, I wouldn't advise, even though it would be pretty satisfying at first, uh, the best way to store them is actually in the open air. If you put them in a container, they will get kind of soggy, but you can also freeze them as well. And they are really fudgy and delicious when frozen. So those are chocolate waffle cookies with a chocolate ganache frosting. I hope your cookies turned out great. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions at all about the process, I'm happy to answer them. And again, I highly recommend eating these cookies while they are fresh, because that is when they're the absolute best. Thanks so much for watching. You can always find a new video here every single week about farming, family food, and fortitude here at our Rough and Tumble Farmhouse.